the beginning of the 18th century, around 1700, my family was invited by Maharaja Jai Singh II when he was uh, establishing, building his new city, uh, to come and settle uh, in his city. And uh, we became their official, uh, his family's official jewelers. He wanted the city to prosper and brought businessmen, artisans from all over India and made them settle in his city. And uh, in those days, a lot of the jewelry that was being made was for, uh, you know, the Maharaja, Maharaja's democracy, like here. As you see, there is this turban pin, which is about 250 years old. And these are all old Indian diamonds uh, from the Golconda mines, which, are, which don't produce anymore. In India, during the uh, time of the Mughal emperors and the Maharajas, there was jewelry created for everything from horses, elephants, to children, women, men. Like this is a 17th century bracelet made for a, maybe a four-year-old princess. Again, it's the enamel work and with all diamonds. This is also a necklace for a small princess. They're from the 17th century. And uh, when I talked about opulence, let me show you a drinking flask. See, this is a 250-year-old drinking flask made by my family and then bought back from the family who had originally acquired it. So this is all again 22 karat gold. This is all hollow. And they would fill the liquor in here. And this is a straw going in. So when they were, you know, it was basically for sipping. It was a very strong liquor. And when they were not sipping, this would be closed with the chain. Again, you see, these, uh, this is all beautiful enamel work on 22 karat gold, and these are all diamonds. This is a solid gold uh, a uh, spoon and plate. That's about a kilo of gold in the plate. And the plate is also studded with diamonds. And uh, so is the spoon. See, in the West, you say born with a silver spoon. In India, they were born with diamond spoons. See again, this is a 250-year-old chess set. See, this is the black, this is the white. Again in solid gold. Again enameled in the famous Jaipur style and studded with diamonds. These are all pieces made by my family a few generations ago. So this was the traditional way of putting, making jewelry with these uh, flat uh, sort of rose cut diamonds. And most of the jewelry was in 22 karat gold. And even the back was all finished beautifully. Because our policy at Jam Palace anyway has always been that even the part not visible to the, uh, to the eye, but uh, touching the body should be just as well finished. And inspired by this old uh, uh, Jam Palace piece, I've uh, started a new line, which I call my Indo-Russian collection. And here I made a diamond choker, which is a more sort of a modern look, which is also, as I told you, inspired by the uh, jewelry at the time of Tsars. Sort of a mixture, and uh, if you see, the back instead of enamel, it's all beautiful filigree with diamonds. We're using modern diamonds also and uh, like uh, this necklace here. You see, this is a big diamond in the center. And again, the back, as you will see, is all beautifully finished. We are a vertically integrated uh, company in the sense that I travel to Africa, I go to Colombia to buy the raw material. So we do everything from cutting of raw stones to finished stones to designing jewelry and making of jewelry. 
See, like these emeralds here. I bought the raw material in Zambia and then they were all cut and polished upstairs and then also turned into a beautiful piece of jewelry by our workers. Okay, we do a wide range of jewelry. As I said, you know, I like to turn every woman's dream into a piece of jewelry she love and cherish. 50% of our business comes from Indians because Indians always have this great love for jewelry. They are the biggest consumers of gold. It's a very strong part of the Indian culture and especially at weddings, you know. Uh, poor, middle class, or rich, they'll still make some jewelry for their daughter or future daughter-in-law. So it's a very, very strong part of the Indian culture. Our policy at Gem Palace is that everybody coming in should walk out with something. 